Welcome. This is David Bowles, Human Meme. Today's topic, why the liberal media loves Trump. Well, there's a big misconception at play here in the great United States of America that we even have a liberal media. We, in fact, do not. All the big mainstream media outlets are owned and operated by big corporations. And as the United States Supreme Court taught us, in their landmark decision, Citizens United versus Federal Election Commission, corporations are people too. And so these people, these big businesses that who control our news and our lives and our entertainment are never liberal and never have been. And here's why. They cannot be liberal, for they are only for the bottom line and lining the pockets of their investors. And so, by default of fealty, vested interest, and consumer consumption, the liberal media elite are and always shall be conservative and never liberal. But the liberal media, the libtard media, as some on the conservative side of the spectrum label the effort, have always been a favorite punching bag for the hard right. And so to brand any mainstream media effort that seamlessly reports the news, neutrally, we had hoped, is always caught for outrage in this libtard media trap. And the big conservative companies love being called liberal because it gives them cover against their real intentions to make money and to kneel before power. So the reason this fake libtard media loves Trump is simple. Trump is good for business. And business is their fiduciary moral conclusion put into effort and effect every day. Trump's daily dosages of outrage are made for the wildness of television, radio, and even the live stage and newspaper. And covering him makes the liberal label media look righteous and fair when they are really just playing along behind the scenes to serve their own monetary scenario. And I am also quite sure the libtard media thinks they can stop Trump if he goes too far and does too much damage. But here's a bit of news. A little bit of damage and turmoil is good for ratings, but not good for the rest of the country. And yet, these big media companies encourage Trump and they egg him on more and more because that's what they think their audience wants. To loathe the dummy-in-chief. But what the so-called liberal media doesn't really understand is that they are playing with fire. And they will get burned. Because Pandora's box is already open and in play. And the wrath of the world is swallowing us whole. And so what once began as a charade of character in a murder book has now become something untenable as a presidency. And there's no way to reel in the hook you set without also upsetting the entire world. And so we, the people, the real people, the human beings at stake here between this coddling outrage and reporting, well, we have nowhere to turn to get the truth. Because all our big media allies are really companies 
and they're in on the game, and they are playing along to make money, sell advertising, sell subscriptions, and to keep us coming back for more and more 24 hours a day every day of the week. And we all know that on some level. But we're sort of stuck because we don't have anywhere else to go to know what's going on in the world. Outrage is dead. Parody has been murdered. We now are now stuck in a time loop where the worst nightmare has come true. All the bandits are running the banks. And there's no way out to find a path to the truth. Because everyone involved is protecting their own vested interests. So what once began as a farce to sell the news for daily profit, Donald Trump running for president, has now become a hard reality with no truth to end the charade. We cannot unring this bell. Can a new election get rid of this mess? I'm not so sure. Because once a putrid stain has had four years to set, and remain unmoved. There's no constitutional way out when the Constitution has been intentionally burned to the ground by those protecting their putrid share of a sullied American dream. And maybe we deserve this. There's a bunch of people who just love Trump And those people are not in on the joke. And so we are stuck with them. Because without them, we would not be stuck with Trump. What happened? We need to first figure out how we got here. And the media will not help us. They won't get us out of anything. They're enjoying the confusion, the reporters wheezing their exclusives. And all along, it's all a scripted show for the show, with no peril or meaning behind the notion of actually being real news. What needs to be dealt with is not the corruption in government or the lack of morality in our leaders. What needs to be dealt with is this, the complete and total corruption of our mainstream media, both libtard and conservative. And they play along to get along. And they accept the false libtard media storyline to help sell their consumers horror stories they wish upon us for consumption. And the solution to all of this is to stand up and to shout out the truth as you know it. Shine your own light down a dark pathway and invite others to join you. Let it be known you can create your own powerful network that can change the world. Just be wary of money and advertising along your journey. Because business is made to corrupt a free press and to disrupt an open mind. Because in the bottom line, you find the barrel of the lie pointing straight at you with only one purpose and only one pursuit. You pay away to play along, or you float to die. And that is the sacred label of the liberal media. Thank you for listening. Be a human meme.